so welcome back. Um, I just wanted to pop on here really quick because I know this is a really long video. Um, just keep in mind it's a collection and declutter video. So I don't do a whole lot of decluttering in the first part. I just wanted to kind of forewarn you about that. I will put a little timestamp here of where the actual kind of decluttering starts. It's about 20 minutes in. God, this video is so long. I'm so sorry, guys. I apologize. But I just wanted to come on here and say hi and say I hope you're having a good week. Thank you so much for all of y'all's comments on my videos. I can't wait to sit down and talk to you guys this weekend. It has been crazy. It's like nine. I, I just got home from work about 10 o'clock. I think. Yeah, I left I left the office about 9.30. It's been a crazy week. So my videos going up are probably going to be going up late this week. I apologize about that. But and I just wanted to come on here and leave that little PSA that if you're really just interested in the decluttering, just skip to, you know, whatever timestamp I put down at the bot, um, bottom of the screen. And yeah. I hope you guys have an amazing week and I will see you soon. Bye. All right guys, let's start working on single eyeshadow. So I'm gonna go ahead and just take it drawer by drawer and then I'm gonna go, these are the, this, these were in the storage unit over where all my palettes were in my um, collection video if you saw that. So I'm just gonna go through these, see which ones are old because I know some of these are probably really, really old and need to be gotten rid of. Um, so I have a bunch of these colored tattoos. This one is in, Tenacious Teal. This one is feeling super dried out. Um, no, that one's still good. I'm going to go ahead and keep that one. This one is in Creamy Beige. This was one of the leather ones. I do really like this one. Um, yeah, I think I'm going to keep that one. I know some of these I can get rid of I've had for forever, but some of these are newer. This one is in Tough as Taupe. Um, do you see how that one's all kind of dried up? And I mean, I could still use this one, but yeah, I think that one's gonna get thrown away. That one's gonna get thrown away. Um, this one is Bad to the Bronze. This is one of the first ones I ever got, but it's actually still good. <laughs> so yeah, that one's gonna stay. My goal is to get these all just in my eyeshadow drawer and have it in that those two containers that you usually see behind me. This one is in bold gold. This one is old and it needs to go, but it's a great base. This one is in Audacious Asphalt. Again, that one's dried up, that one's gonna go. Some of these are just gonna get tossed because they are so old. This one's in Pomegranate Punk. I love this, this one. This one's actually really, really pretty. So I'm gonna keep that one. And I know this one's really old as well. This one is Silver Strike. Yeah, that one's kind of dried up. That one's gonna get through. So I'm gonna keep four of those and get rid of four. These I got at Sephora when they were on clearance. Um, let's see, they're eyeliners, but use them more as bases. Made in Manhattan. It's a really pretty kind of like, where are you? that gray color right there. Might keep some of these since I got rid of some of the other ones. This one is in Bewitch Me. And these are still really, really creamy. Um, these are gonna be a maybe. These are going in the maybe pile. And then this one is in Electric Teal. So, let's see. And these are waterproof. Actually, that one's gonna be a definite. I'm definitely keeping that one. Guys, some of these are, are great, and the reason why I'm getting rid of them is just because I never use them, and the point of your collection is to use it. This is one of the pigments. This is in the shade Brazen, which is really beautiful. I'm gonna keep that one. I'm probably gonna keep all of these pigments. This one is in the shade Never Fade Jade. This is a really beautiful matte color. No, it's got a little bit of shimmer in there. I'm going to keep that one. I need to start using pigments more. I need to start using, I need to start using my um, singles more in general, but definitely pigments. This is in the shade Pink Rebel, which again is a really pretty, just, these, these pigments are gorgeous. I think they discontinued these. So yeah, I am going to keep these. And then this is in the shade, this is in the shade Forest Fatale which is a really beautiful, unique green color. So super pretty, I need to do All right, let's look at this. This is a Submissive Eye Base by Be A Bombshell Cosmetics. Um, 
That's actually really, really pretty, but I'm not gonna use it. That's gonna go. I have a bunch of ColourPop shadows, guys. I'm, I'm not gonna lie, I'm probably gonna keep most of these, but I wanna move them around in my collection to where I use them more often. This one is in Onai. I love this shade. I use this a whole bunch. Some of these are a little dried up, but you spritz a little spray in there and it's they they pick right back up. I know some people don't enjoy the color pop shadows, but I really enjoy them. Um, this one is in the shade Girly. I love this one. It's one of the most, just the prettiest shades. It's, I'm gonna keep that one. This is in the shade Midnight, which is really beautiful. I'm gonna keep that. I love this shade as well. This is in the shade Cornelius. This is from um, the Kathleen Lights collection. It's a beautiful matte. Really pretty. I feel like all of the shadows in her collections are beautiful. I actually have both of them. Um, this is in the shade Glow, which I haven't even used this one. This is another matte shade, just a really pretty all over matte shade. This one is in the shade Blaze which again is just gorgeous. These color pop, I know a lot of people don't like them, but I will use these all over the eye. I don't feel like I need to pair them with anything. Really pretty, I'm keeping that one as well. It's gonna be a long video guys, cause I figure I just might as well show you everything, right? I have the shade Get Lucky, which is a beautiful gold. Like, that's one of the best golds I own right there. I'm already absolutely filthy. This is another beautiful gold, but this is kind of like an antique gold. This is again from the Kathleen Lights collection called Telepathy. Yeah, no, no way. This one is called Porter. This is also from one of her collections. Beautiful, deep red, love that. This is in the shade Weenie, which is also from one of her collections. I mean, the, the pigmentation on these and the way they go on the eye is just, I, I love ColourPop shadows. I know some people kind of hate them, love them. Some people hate them, some people love them. This is Kathleen Lights. I mean, I really enjoy them, but I need them on my desk where they are close at hand, so I use them. It's amazing how that works, huh? All right, then I have this shade. This is the shade Slay. This was from a Christmas collection a couple years ago. So super pretty. It's almost like a greeny gold. Um, then this one is XO, which I obviously love this shade. This is from the Shan XO collection. Really, really pretty. I like their collaborations. I feel like they do a good job. I don't buy a whole bunch of collaborations. I don't buy every single collaboration that comes out, but if it's with ColourPop, I have a you know a good feeling about it generally. Um, this is Amira, which is a beautiful gold with just multi-dimensional like pink and yellow reflect in it. So pretty. Um, this is the shade Partridge, which is one of those beautiful duochromes that you guys know that I love. And a lot of these are limited edition, guys, so I apologize if you're seeing something that you like. This is just what's in my collection. This is Halo. This one is a little bit more on the dry side, but it is still usable, still really pretty. This one is in Selfie. This is also from the Shan XO collection. I love this color as a transition. It's just, it's, be it's a beautiful, warm transition shade. Absolutely gorgeous, and it shears out beautifully on the skin. Um, this one is called On the Rocks. It's one of their metallics, really beautiful. Those two together would be really pretty, actually. This is in the shade Deluxe, which is very similar to On the Rocks. It's just got more red in it. They are very similar. This is in the shade Tinsel, which is a beautiful glittery purple. I mean, I, I don't know, guys. I. I think these are so beautiful and I think this is what's keeping me from getting a Natasha Denona palette is because I've got all these ColourPop shades that I never use. This is the shade Rebel, which is also from the Shan XO collection, which I love. It's a really pretty army green, which goes beautiful with that orangey, with that selfie shade. Really pretty. That one's a little bit dried up. Um, this is in the shade Lectra. Just beautiful burgundy, shimmery shade. And guys, I actually don't mind the actual glitter in these shadows because of the consistency of the shadows. Usually I'm not a fan when they take a matte shadow and put glitter in it, but with this formula, it works, so I don't mind it. This is in the shade Roulette, which is just a matte black. It's actually a really nice black. 
not the deepest, darkest black, but it does work really nicely on the eye. I'm doing so good. I'm not doing great so far, guys. Um, this one is Doe a Deer, which is a really like deep, satiny purple. Got a little bit of plum in it. It's like a warmer purple. Um, I do have Drift, which is a beautiful burgundy shade. And this one is called Fair, which is a beautiful deep brown. So yes, I didn't do any damage as far as that's concerned. Um, since I'm keeping all of those, I am gonna get rid of these two ones from Sephora. I just, I never use them. All right, let's talk about some more eye bases that I have, because I don't have enough of those. Um, I do have, I really like these little smudge pots from e.l.f. I probably will be keeping all of these as well. This is in the shade Let It Go. This is from the Elsa collection that they came out with. Hold on, my hand is so dirty. Hold on. Had to break out the Bioderma so you could actually see the shade, but it's a really pretty light pinky. I do like using these as bases just because they're a little bit lighter and they don't grease so badly because um, there are they're a lighter consistency, but they really give something they really give something for the shadow to stick to. This is in the shade Beast. This one was limited edition as well, but really, really pretty. So I am gonna keep that one. This is in the shade Bell, which is a really pretty gold. Um, this is a gorgeous shade. This is in the shade Brownie Points. It's just beautiful, deep, rich. These are just great little $3 products if you like doing just really high impact looks. This is called Cruisin' Chic, which is more of a taupey or bronze color. This is in the shade Ain't That Sweet. This one is, oh, I just, um, this one is very similar to Let It Go. Let me see. Uh, yeah, I wanna say they're identical. I'm gonna keep Let It Go and I'm gonna get rid of this one. And then this one is in the shade Poppin' Party, which is a really pretty purple shade. I think I've only swatched this one. Yeah, but I'm gonna keep that, that's really pretty. All right, let's get into some of these. These are some Bare Minerals pigments. These are super, super old, um, and there's not a lot left in these, so these are gonna get passed on or tossed. So that one is in the shade Here Kitty. This is in the shade Citrus Twist. These are beautiful, guys, but I never, ever, ever reach for these. I, almost gone. This is in the shade Masquerade, which is a beautiful, this, this is a gorgeous duochrome. Actually, I'm probably gonna keep this one. Yeah, I'm gonna keep that one. I wish these weren't so messy. Um, this is the shade L If I Know, which is a really beautiful deep blue. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna keep that one for now. All right, I have these two new Revlon um, Color Stay Cream eyeshadows. These are okay. Um, I feel like they are much more sheer. What does I got out of here? They are really pretty. This is in the shade, I don't even know what shade these are in, because I don't think they have them on the jar, which is kind of irritating. This one is 710 and this one is 705. I think this one's called Creme Brulee. These are beautiful, but they just don't have a lot of su substance to them and they don't really work as well for bases, so I think I'm gonna pass both of these. Um, I do have two pigments from Ulta, and I do wanna keep both of them because I love the packaging, but they're really beautiful as well. This one is in Sepia, which is just a gorgeous, beautiful pigment. Ulta's pigments are really lovely. This one is in Yolo. I hate the name, but the pigment is really, really pretty. That beautiful kind of yellow pigment. So that one is staying. I do have some of these long lasting lustrous eyeshadows from e.l.f., which I also like. Uh, let's see. I just don't need to keep everything, guys. That one's really pretty. That one's called Festivity. Um, this one is called, I don't know, I can't remember. I think this one is like Toasted. This one's really pretty. These are really pretty if you pop them on your eye with your finger. That's the best way to apply these. And then this one I think is called Toasted, I wanna say. These are really gorgeous, guys, but I kept all the ColourPop shadows and the Elf's um, smudge pots, so all three of these are gonna go. I'm actually gonna let this Sephora one go. Let's move into some glitters. I just got all of these, so I am gonna keep them. This is Oprah 
from Lit. This is the one Samantha Riley recommended and I cannot wait to use that. That is so beautiful. Um, this one is called True Romance. Beautiful. This one is, I wanna do a like really dramatic dark smoky eye with. This is called Seeing Stars. So stunning. And then this one is called Peacock. Look how pretty is that? So I am keeping those. Um, this one is from Eye Candy Cosmetics. This one is called Spearmint. Oh, look at that. This one I had to get because the girl where, um, working at IMATS was wearing this. This one's called Smitten. So pretty. I'm excited to do something with that one. This one is called Candy Apple. Really, really pretty. Now, um, I do have the Stila Magnificent Metals Glitter and Glow Eyeshadow Single. That's definitely staying so, so good. Love that. Um, I am going to keep all of these Glitter Brilliance from NYX. Super, super, super pretty. That one is in gold, I believe. Oh, that one's in bronze. This one is in teal. These, glit these glitters are just really, really good and they're really affordable. Come on. This one is in copper. I did a look with this one um, back in the fall. Really, really pretty. I like that one as well. Um, and then this one is in gunmetal. Really pretty. They're a mess, but I love those. Um, I do have these hard candy glitters. Um, I know a lot of people don't like these glitters because they don't, the top, when it comes, um, when it, they come in duos. So this one, for example, is in City Chic. Um, but they come with this little plastic top on them. But if you pop it off, you have no problem getting the glitter and they're really nice glitters. So I am going to be keeping these as well. Just really pretty. This one's a gorgeous, like, holographic glitter. And then these are called Deep Blue Sea. I like these as well. This is a really pretty kind of Caribbean blue type of glitter. And then this one's pretty. It's a iridescent. It's a larger glitter, but it's really, really pretty. All of these glitters right here are actually for the Tattoo Junkie lip paints. I think I'm going to get rid of this one because it's the same one. So the way the Tattoo Junkie lip paints work is that you can put these over the lipstick while they are still wet and it will stay. And they actually work really well. So I am going to keep these because I want to do a video on those, those lipsticks. This is the new Katie Cat Pearl shadow and highlighter and i've actually used this um one or two times i just got it it's still relatively new it's a really pretty color but guys i don't really see myself using it that much i wanted to try it out and see if it was really good as a base but it's just a really light shadow so this one's gonna go as well um let's look at these loose pigments this one is was from the villains collection it's called leviathan it's really really beautiful um yeah, I'm going to keep this. These are just so easy to use, these little pigments. Um, I'm going to keep all of these. This is Heart of Rose Gold. This is from the Wet n Wild Holiday Collection. All four of these were. This is Dom and Cherry on top. This one is Kung Fu Lightning. And this is right on my copper. All right, let's get into some eyeshadow bases. So these are the Color Tattoo Eye Chromes from Maybelline. This is in the shade... This is in the shade Gilded Rose. This one's actually really, really pretty. That's gonna be a maybe though because this is not my favorite formula for um, eyeshadow bases. And this is an Electric Emerald. I was not impressed with this one at all. It's just not pigmented. It gets a little splotchy. So these two are maybes. I'm not sure about those. These I think I'm definitely getting rid of. These are Butter London. Um, Wink Cream Eyeshadows. This one is in Brassed Off. It's really pretty, but I never use it. I never use it, so it needs to go. This one is in Jaded Jack. A really fun green color. That one's going to go. And then this one is in English Rose. I think I'm going to keep that one, and I'm going to get rid of the Maybelline Gilded Rose. 
I'm still on the fence about this one. Um, this is the Rimmel Scandalize in Velvet Black. These are actually really nice. Um, I might keep, I think I'm gonna keep the black one. I've got so many purple bases at this point, I don't think I'm gonna keep this one. This one is in manganese purple. Yeah, it's pretty, but I have some color pop shadows that would work. So I'm gonna get rid of that one. I think I'm gonna keep this one for now. That one I might be changing my mind on though. All right, let's talk about this drawer right here. So I have these Maybelline Eye Studios. These are so old and dried up, these are gonna go. I have the one in Blackest Black, I believe. Yeah, Blackest Black. And then I have the one in Eggplant. Yeah, these are just gonna get tossed. They're super, super old. I do have my Studio Gear Invincible Onyx. This one is so old. I absolutely love this, but I've gotten away from using cream eyeliner, so I'm finally gonna let this go. I've had this thing for forever, and it's still good, but yeah, that one's gonna be a maybe, actually. I'm setting that one aside for right now. I am gonna keep my Jordana Made to Last Liquid Eyeshadows. These are really, really good. These last all day. They're just, this one is in Forever Sand. This one is in Immortal Metal. These are just, these are great. I, I wish they would bring these back and make them permanent. Because I think they were limited edition. And then this one is a Round Town Brown. Just so, so good. All three of those are staying. I do really like these. The wear time on these are really good. The Infallible Paints by L'Oreal. I have this one in Cool Ivory. I actually wore this on a day when I traveled for like, I wanna say like 13 hours and it lasted all day long. It was so pretty, really, really pretty. These are thin like the the Revlon ones, but they, they just last better. And I think it just has to do with them being a liquid formula. They just set down more. I haven't played with this one yet, but this one is called Mint Detox. Again, really, really pretty. Pretty greens, it's got like a matte bright green in there and then you have a deeper shimmery green, which is really pretty. You know what, in fact, since that green is so pretty and I like the formula better, I'm gonna get rid of this Maybelline color. Um, this thing is old as dirt as well. This is just the, from Charlotte Russe, this is just a glitter stack, but it's so pretty. I still use it. This is one of the first, I used this on one of the first looks I ever did on somebody else. It was on Jessica, my sister, um, for New Year's 2013, I think. Just so pretty. So I am going to keep this. This right here is a graffiti, one of the old school, um, Stardust eyeshadows in graffiti. I actually didn't even order this. Urban Decay just sent this with an order. Um, I never use it. I don't like the texture that's gonna go. Um, I love this shadow. This is one of my favorite inner corner shadows. This is Midnight Cowboy. I probably have this a million times over, but it's just really convenient to have it in a single on my desk so I don't have to go hunt it down in a palette. And then this is the Moon Dust Shadow in Solstice, which I also just completely love. So super pretty. So both of those are staying. All right guys, this is where we're gonna start being a little bit more brutal. So I have a bunch of these color Moultons from Maybelline. I really just kept these because of the packaging because it's that 100 year anniversary packaging. However, I think I am gonna get rid of all of these because I do have a couple of the lipsticks. I don't know, this one's really pretty. I'm gonna keep this one. No, I don't. I'm gonna get rid of all of these. So this one is in Rose Rush. This one's in Sweeping Blue. This one is in Bronzed Out. This one is in Teal Twist. And this one is in Midnight Morph. So I never reach for these. I am gonna pass those on. Um, I think I'm gonna pass on probably most of these little eyeshadow pigments from Profusion, they're really pretty. Um, they come in stacks where you get like three or four for a dollar at Christmas time. I'm gonna pass on all of these. They don't have any names. They're just little tiny itty bitty singles that I picked up and was actually kind of impressed with. But I, again, I never reach for them. And I know there's somebody that could get some use out of them. So I am gonna be passing along all of these. I'm sorry I'm not swatching all of these guys because that would take forever and then we would never leave. I do have one of the Hip Studio Secrets Crystal Shadows. This is in the shade. These are those really kind of chunky shades that you have to foil to make work. Um, I never reach for them. That one's gonna go. 
I have two Tarina Tarantino eyeshadows. I have Bow, which is pretty. And these are pretty little compacts that come with a mirror. It's a bright pink. It's not a bad shadow. I've just, I never reach for it. That's going to go. And then this one is in ribbon, which is a pretty matte purple. Again, I never reach for it. It's going to go. I am going to keep Preferred Blonde. I love this as an inner corner highlight. This is a Velux Pearl eyeshadow. It's from the Marilyn Monroe collection from MAC. Really beautiful. And I'm going to keep that. I have two Infallibles from L'Oreal. I have Continuous Cocoa, which is a deep dark brown, which is beautiful, like almost black and brown. And then I have Midnight Blue, which is just a gorgeous. This is such a beautiful navy. Um, I think I'm going to keep Midnight Blue and I'm going to get rid of Continuous Cocoa as pretty as it is. Ooh, no, that one's going to go in the baby pile too. I've got a couple in the baby pile. I'll have to revisit. I do have these two Elfed Baked eyeshadows. This is in the shade Toasted. The, again, these are really, really beautiful, guys, but I, I just never, ever reach for them. This is Burnt Plum. So really pretty, but I think I'm going to get rid of both of those. Um, this is a MAC Satin in Electric Eel. It's a really pretty blue, really pretty bright blue. So I am going to keep that one. And of course, I will be keeping Kid from MAC. This is one of my favorite shades of all time. I'm really sad that it's discontinued. doesn't look like much, but it is one of the most beautiful transition shades ever. And I am keeping that. All right, guys, these are the Kiss um, New York Professional Single Eyeshadows. This is in the shade Bow, which is a beautiful brown shade. Absolutely love it. We'll be keeping it. Shears out beautifully. This is in the shade Lighthouse, which is just a satin matte white. Um, it's really, really pretty. That one's going to be in the maybe pile just because I have so many like that. And it is not blowing me away. This one is in the shade Geranium. This one's, again, really, really pretty. I like the formula of their single eyeshadows. That one is a maybe, though. And then this one I'm keeping for sure. This one is called Sinful Love. This one is absolutely stunning. So I think I'm going to definitely keep... All right, guys, I do have three Buxom eyeshadows. They're all iridescent. I need to just grab a couple of mattes and throw them in a palette so I use these more. This is this one is in the shade La La Lavish. Really beautiful. This is in the shade No Faux. Again, it's one, guys, it's one of those iridescent shades. I'm just an absolute or duochrome shades I'm an absolute sucker for. And this one is in Room Service, which is a pretty like light green to gold duochrome, really unique, so I'm keeping that one. Okay, let's talk about some Wet n' Wild single eyeshadows. Um, all of these little glitters are gonna go. I don't need them, I've got plenty of glitter. Those are gonna go. Um, this is in the shade Panther. I'm definitely gonna keep it. It's one of the best blacks you can find in the drugstore. Really, really good. Um, that one is going to stay. I am going to, let me see what I'm, I'm going to keep this shade called Sugar. Um, it's pretty. Oh, can you see that? It's pretty, but not pretty enough to keep. That one's going. This is the shade called Trashed. Um, it's a matte with silver glitter in it. Not a fan. I'm going to pass that along. This is in the shade Nutty, which is a beautiful, like, browny, bronzy shade. So I'm going to keep that one. Ooh. This one, I believe, is also in the shade Nutty. Let me swatch it just to make sure. I don't think it's Nutty because it doesn't have a label on it, but it's pretty close. So that one's going to go. Wait. Another glitter. That one's going to go. This is a backup of Brulee. I'm going to keep that because I love that shade. This shade is called Kitten. It's a pretty purple, but it doesn't have any kind of punch. So that one's going to go. This is the shade... Stage Dive. Again, it's a matte blue with silver glitter in it. Not a fan. That one's going to go. Um, this is Cheeky, which is a shimmery pink. It's pretty, but I'm going to let that one go. This one is called Sellout, which is a matte pink with glitter in it. Again, I'm not a fan of these types of shades, so that one's going to go. Um, this one is in the shade Envy. 
It's a pretty green, but it just doesn't have any impact. This is in the shade Lagoon. Again, it's a beautiful blue, but it just doesn't have any impact, so I'm gonna get rid of those. This is my brulee that is open, one of my favorite highlight shades of all time, that's staying. So I talked about it in my eyeshadow single collection video that if I didn't use these NYX shadows, I was gonna declutter them. I haven't picked them up. These are gonna go. These are the old school shadows. This one is in charcoal brown. This is in the shade Autumn Sky. I mean, they're really pretty. I just, I never, well, that one's really pretty, actually. You know what? That's like how I use the Lorac I Love Brunch palette where I use avocado toast and gluten-free to create that inner corner shade. I think I just have it there. So that way I don't have to pull out that palette every time. I'll keep that one. This one I'm gonna get rid of. This one is called Luxor. I mean, again, it's pretty. Just never use it. This is in the shade Sensual. Really pretty. Again, everything's really pretty, but... I have two of the prismatic eyeshadows. This one is in Jaded. These are great, um, but again, I just, I never, ever reach for these. I never reach for that. That's gonna go. This is in the shade Golden Peach. I have a million blushes that look like that. Uh, that's gonna go too. All right, let's look at these. I love these shadows. These are the L'Oreal Paris. Um, Color Riche. I can't remember. I think I can't remember what the like, official name. This is the shade Grand Blue. These are really pretty, but I get more of a payout from that L'Oreal Infallible that I'm keeping, so I'm gonna pass that one on. This is in the shade Teal Couture. Um, no, I'm not gonna keep that. This is in the shade Meet Me in Paris, which is a really pretty and unique gray. I really li I like the mattes in this collection, so that one's staying. This is in the shade Argentique, which is a really pretty kind of very icy gray blue. Um, I'm going to keep that one. This is in the shade Green Promenade. It's a really interesting green. It's a, oh, that's so pretty. Yeah, I'm keeping, ah, I'm throwing that one. I'm keeping that one. This shade is beautiful. This is uh, Pan au Chocolat. Oh, God, this color. So pretty, that one's staying. Because I'm excited. I'm getting rid of way more than I thought I would. This one is Noir Say Noir, which is a great black. It can really be built up, especially if you're doing a black smoky eye. This one is in the shade Violet Butte, which I want to do a look with these two together. I love that color, that one's staying. This is in the shade Mademoiselle Pink. I like the impact of this one. It's very bright on the eye, so I'm gonna keep that one. How pretty with those three be together in a look? I think that'd be really cool. I need to come up with something. This is the shade Petite Pearl which is just a really bright white. Again, I like this white too. I'm gonna keep that one. This is in the shade Cafe Au Lait. This is such a great transition shade. This is in the shade Paris Beach. This is a, oh, oh I just hulk out and break the top off. Um, this one's really pretty too. I mean, the pigmentation on these is just great. There's some of the, more jewel tone colors are kind of lacking, but for the most part, I really enjoy this line. This is Quartz Fumé, which is a really interesting kind of bronzy deep brown. It's really, really pretty. That one's gonna stay. This is in the shade Little Beige Dress. Just another great <laughs> transition shade. This line is really, I think a lot of people don't give this line the credit it deserves. And then this one is in Set, Set, Sunset Sand which is a really pretty gold. Um, I think I have some higher impact golds than this, even though it's a really pretty like orangey gold. So I think I'm gonna let this one go. All right guys, this one's gonna be a little bit harder because I love my Milani's. First off, I am getting rid of these two um, duos from the Ariel collection that came, Elf came out with. Again, the pigmentation is just not great and I was keeping it for the packaging. Um, let's see. I am going to keep Bella Diamond. I love this one as a highlighter, inner corner highlight. I love using a lot of these lighter shades as highlights. This is Bella Rose. Uh, Rose Again, 
love that. Um, Bella Chiffon makes a beautiful yellow kind of goldy highlight. Guys, if you got these in your collection, pull them out and use them as face highlighters. They are stunning. Um, this one is Bella Pink. I just I love these eyeshadows, guys. Um, yeah, that one's really pretty. This one I think I can get rid of. This one is Bella Violet. Ooh. Okay, that's going in the baby pile. I have such a hard time because I love these. This is Bella Purple. Um, I can get rid of that one. This one is Bella Black. Um, I like this one, but I like the one from L'Oreal Better, so that one's going to go. This is in the shade Bella Champagne. Again, another beautiful lid color face highlight. S -s just beautiful. Um, this is the shade Bella Khaki, uh, just a really interesting shade in the drugstore. Pigmentation is amazing. That's going to stay. This is Bella Mandarin, really interesting color. Again, just really like this color range. This is Bella Fuchsia. Um, no, I hesitated. It's got to go. This one is Bella Charcoal, which is it's like a warm charcoal. It's really interesting. Um, nope. Uh, that's maybe. This one is Bella Cobalt. I like these blues, but not enough. They've got to go. They're so pretty, though, in the pan. They just aren't. You've got to really pack them on. That Bella Navy. I think I'm going to get rid of this one, too, guys, because I kept that L'Oreal Infallible in Midnight. That one's going to go. Um, I have the shade Bella Bronze. This one is gorgeous. Keeping that. Bella Copper is also beautiful. Oh, so pretty. Um, Bella White. This is just a white shade. Um, I think I like, I mean, it's good. Mmm. I'm going to keep that one for now. This one is Bella Espresso. Again, beautiful, beautiful shade. It's like that kind of warm, bronzy color. This one is in Bella Taupe, which is so pretty. So pretty. That's pretty in the transition. Uh, Bella Gold. This one is kind of, it's pretty, but it's I've got better gold, so that one's going to go. This one's Bella Cafe. This is one of my first loves in this collection. It's just a beautiful, just soft transition color. Love it. This is Bella Cappuccino, another great transition color where Bella Cafe um, is a little cooler. Bella Cappuccino is a little bit warmer. Um, Bella Sand is also another beautiful color. Really pretty. Can you see that? Oh, sorry. Getting frame, Heather. Um, Bella Ivory, again, I, I love this one as a highlight, face highlight, inner corner highlight, really pretty. Um, this one's really pretty. This is Bella Teal, but again, I feel like the color payoff that you get is just not that intense. But over a white base, this one's really pretty. This one's going in the maybe pile. This is Bella Emerald. This one is, again, it's beautiful. Um, yeah, I'm keeping that. This is Bella Silver. Really, really pretty kind of muted silver. That one's going to stay. And then this one is Bella Rouge. That one's kind of unique as far as my singles go, so I'm going to keep that. All right, guys, now let's finally, final thing we need to work on are these Maybelline um uh, singles that i reviewed recently and i was like i said i like a lot of the colors in here um but i don't need all of them i just don't i don't need all of them so some of these need to go so first off let's talk about soft pearl soft pearl is a gorgeous face highlighter and it's also beautiful on the inner corner that one is going to stay uh new york silver is one of the best silvers I have in my collection, period. High-end, drugstore, doesn't matter. That's one of the best silvers you can buy, in my opinion. So pretty. Um, this one's really, 
not bad. This one is linen, but guys, I think creme brulee from, from Wet n Wild is better. Yeah, I like creme brulee better. I've got that one. I'm going to pass this one on. Um, this is another one of those kind of sheer violet shades. I, this was Purple Days. I kind of compared this to Bella Violet in the review. So I'm not, I want to keep one of those purples, but I'm not sure which one. So I'm going to just set those aside for now and I'll go back and decide. This one's called Humdrum Plum. Beautiful plum color. That one's really, really pretty, actually. Yeah, I am keeping that one because I didn't keep the purple I because I got rid of Bella Bella Purple. So that one's going to go, or stay. Um, this is the shade, the Glow Down. Um, I am going to keep this shade called the Glow Down. It is really pretty. It's kind of that um, really pretty orange that the one from the Color Reach line, kind of orangey gold that... Um, the Milani Gold and the Color Reach Gold just, it, I think it performs better, so I'm going to keep that one. This one, I really do like this color. I think it is really, really pretty. It's just very, very vibrant. You are going to have to work with this one to build it up, but I think the color is so pretty that it's worth it, so I'm going to stay keep that one. This is called um, Teal the Deal, which is a really pretty matte teal. I just think that's so unique in the drugstore in a single, so I'm gonna keep that one. This shade is called Made for Mocha. This is one of the best browns you can get in the drugstore. So pretty. It doesn't look like much in the swatch, but it's so good. This one is definitely staying. This is the shade Seashell. Um, this one's not bad, but I wasn't really impressed with it, so that one can go. This is the shade Cool Cocoa. This one I think is really pretty and really unique. It makes a beautiful transition shade. It's like a kind of a neutral to cool leaning brown, but the fact that it has like pink reflex in there that don't really translate to the eye unless you're really, really looking, I think it adds a really interesting touch to this shade. I think it's really unique, so I'm gonna keep that one. This is the shade Night Sky. I think this is a great matte black in the drugstore that's staying. This is the shade Vanilla. I compared this one to Bella Khaki, but I think this one performs well and brings a little something different, so I'm going to keep both of those khaki shades. Okay, I know I'm missing one. Oh, yeah, I am. Here we go. Duh. Um, I was going to just not include these. This is Nude Glow. This is probably one of my favorites out of the whole collection. It's absolutely beautiful. That one is staying. This is the shade Fierce Fuchsia. It's a matte, hot, you know, kind of fuchsia pink. It's really pretty, but mm, I just have so many palettes with that kind of stuff in it. I don't need it. Tastefully Taupe. I was really, I had high hopes for this one too, um, but it just doesn't have the color impact like that the Glow Down or Nude Glow have, so I'm gonna pass that one on. And then this one is really pretty. This is called Raw Ruby, but it's just one of those shades that I just don't get down with. It's that that matte dark shade with the glitter in it. I mean, it's really pretty. I just, I'm never gonna wear it and I have a million of them. All right, guys, so that's um, me finished. So now I need to come back and talk about the maybes, right? Bella, Bella Charcoal was a maybe, I think. Is Bella Charcoal a maybe? Yeah, I'm definitely keeping that one. Um, this one, I think, I think I'm going to keep Bella Teal just because it's got such a beautiful iridescence to it and it's unique. Um, I only want to keep one of these. So we've got Purple Days and Bella Violet. So let's swatch both of these. So that's Purple Days and this is Bella Violet. And I think both of these shades are intended to be kind of that sheer purple wash of color. Um, I think Bella... Violet is better. I'm going to get rid of Purple Days. I am going to get rid of the studio gear. It's old. It needs to go. Um, I think I am going to get rid of these two as well. This is pretty. It's just such a pain in the butt to get in there for this deep dark color. And I've got some in the Maybelline line and in the L'Oreal line and even in the Milani line that could take this place. So that one is gonna go. So guys, I'm gonna organize everything and come back and tell you how we did. 
All right, guys, so this is everything I have decluttered today. Overall, I have decluttered 87 glitters, pigments, liquid eyeshadows, eyeshadow bases, eyeshadow singles. So I'm really happy about that. Obviously, just a bunch of stuff sitting in my collection that didn't need to be there because I just wasn't using it. So, you know, it's always good to get that stuff out and pass it on to somebody who can use it. That way you are more clear about what you have in your collection. And this is just telling me that, you know, I think I've got my collection under control and then I do a declutter like this or with my brushes or, you know, with my drugstore eyeshadow palettes, you know, I mean, and obviously things build up so much more quickly than you think they do. Um, and if, especially if you're organized like I am, you know, you're like, well, everything's organized, everything has its place, but there's still, it's, I'm finding it very liber liberating to go through and declutter all of, all of these products um, and really make room, especially things like this where there's so many things that I am obviously not using um, and it's just it's time to say goodbye to so I will be passing these on to um, friends and family um, and if anybody uh, anything's left over I will see if I can donate it but guys thank you so much for hanging out and decluttering makeup with me thank you for all your support throughout this crazy process um, it really has been a wonderful experience for me I was really scared of doing it but it's really not as scary as 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 it seems so if you're on the verge of of doing it or thinking about doing it i highly suggest it it's just great because you have a clearer idea of what you have in your collection and you know that you're going to use it know that you want to use it and be excited to use it but guys thanks so much for helping me um today declutter 87 eyeshadow singles i hope you will be joining me tomorrow for my next declutter i can't remember when this one's going to go up um it'll this one might be up on Thursday and then Friday I'm just gonna do my eyeshadow palette collection since I'm not getting like my high-end eyeshadow palette since I'm not getting rid of any of those I thought I'd just go ahead and just do a collection video I feel like I can um, let myself do that since I'm getting rid of so much other product um, but I figured y'all might be interested in seeing what I have as far as high-end eyeshadows but guys thanks so much for hanging out and decluttering with me you guys are awesome have an amazing day have a rocking week and I'll see you next time bye 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 eyeshadows